plasticity is a big conversation on the future of plastic. That means everything about design, innovation, materials, recycling, plastic to fuel, and solutions that are can come in at scale so we can use plastic but not have the waste impact and the waste footprint at the end of the day. How can we turn plastic into something really, really valuable for people that really need value? The world is going to see in the next 20 years, another billion people. There's going to be 180 million houses needed. When we went about the design of this bottle, we worked backwards. We wanted a really beautiful building product. So the title of my talk today is Sustainable Polymers uh, Using Algae. We really want to address some of the society's most pressing challenges, and those include clean food, clean water, and sustainable products. The applications are in shoe soles, toys, yoga mats, a whole variety of different foam-based products. Even automotive is one aspect we're looking into. Do you know that somebody is wearing already for two days 86 bottles on his body for two days? You see, you show yourself. It's so important before you buy or create a product that it's recyclable. We can make suits, we can make jackets, we can make polo shirts, we can make shirts, we can make corporate wear, we can make sportswear, we can bags, we can make pillows, we can do duvet covers, we can do everything. The reason that we want a circular economy, the reason that we want to drive towards a more regenerative design and better use and reuse of materials is really to be efficient in the way that we use resources. We started a program called Energy Bag, where we handed out purple bags to the citizens of Citrus Heights, California, which is a suburb of Sacramento. We asked them to take their energy bag and inside the bag to put all their non-recycled or non-recyclable plastic packaging and plastic serviceware. And all those things that you normally are not able to put into your recycle bin, they go into the energy bag. The energy bags then get picked up with a regular recycling collection, taken to the MRF, the bags get sorted, sent to a pyrolysis facility and made into synthetic crude oil. All of these things are founded in the belief that uh, the best way for us to drive this is through creating the need for recycled material. So we believe that, you know, that creates the pull. I really liked that there were um, different perspectives, um, but mostly they, it was all solutions based. The products can be designed from the start with recyclability in mind and also how we can make material choices that will improve overall sustainability. Recyclability is one part of that, but also use materials that are lighter weight, that take less energy to produce in the first place, and in some cases even give net positive energy value.